brings you to the office? I know you came with your wife. Um, and was she the motivating factor to come? Or yeah. were you, was she the primary? Yes, she was. Okay. But she, you obviously have some stuff going on. Yeah, she went and did the research, and your video popped up, and she said, come look at this guy. Look what he's doing. So I came and watched, and I was impressed. Because I was watching a, a YouTube clip that was on a person that had sciatic that you help get well. Okay. And that sort of stuck with me. Okay. And so what's going on with you? Why are you here? Um, are you I just here for the ride or are you? No. You okay? You want to join us? You can join us. You're okay there? All right. Uh, no, I have a numb foot. Got it. I really don't have a lot of pain. Okay. But the numbness in my foot. Now, is where is the numbness? On the bottom, on, on the side. On the bottom of the foot and on the side. Can you raise your foot? Yep. Here? Yes. Here? Right here. On the side here? Yeah, on the bottom. On the bottom here? Yeah, right there. So this is the pinky toe following yep. the fifth metatarsal and you don't feel this? Just slightly. Slightly. It feels different. Is it not, is it pinned, is it a buzz feeling or just diminished feeling? No, it's just, it's just numb. Just numb, okay. Is there a temperature change with that? Does it this feel one? cold as well? Not really. So when you get, you're feeling it right now, correct? Yes, all okay. the time. And when you're feeling it, all it's so co constant. Mm -hmm. And you're feeling it constant and there is temperature changes sometimes. Or there's no temperature no change. No temperature. Got it. Okay. And I want to qualify numbness. It's kind of important. True numbness in the work that we're doing here, before it gets better, it's going to hurt. Okay. Meaning you may get a sharp sharp signal there in the area that's numb. That way we know we're on the right track and getting it better. Numbness, uh, sorry, pins and needles is a different case. That's not supposed to get worse before it gets better. And the reason I say that is when there's numbness in a particular area, the patient will come back and say, oh, it hurts now. That's a good sign in this case. Okay. Okay. In this case. Okay. All right, let's continue. So when did the numbness start? After I had sciatic. When did you have sciatica? I would have been back in what? 2015, the first time. Okay, what happened in 2015? Um, I was pulling some trees down. Okay. And uh, I over pulled and it started getting sciatic. It was extremely painful. You felt it in your back first, yes. and you felt it shooting down your left leg mm -hmm. into that toe, same toe that's now numb? I actually think it was on the opposite side. Okay, so it started on your right side. Mm -hmm. And did the sciatica then switch to the left side, or it stayed on that side, right side? Uh, what was found, do you remember? L5 sacrum? L5. L5 was found. Okay. Yes and you had L5 adjusted several times. More than several times, three times a week. Three times a week for how long? Probably for two or three months. And then the following August, I got sciatic again. Same spot, opposite spot. I'm not sure. Okay. Right. And then uh, the spring of, last spring 18? would have been 18, I got it again. Uh, did you stick with one? You found somebody else then after that, or you were with the same person? All those, uh, I think it from 17 till uh, this spring or okay. in the winter, mm -hmm. I was with the same office. Till this past winter? Yes. Okay. Did you switch then past winter? Yes. A nerve doctor, a nerve MD? No, it was okay. just a guy that does reflexology and works on the nerves. Got it, okay, so you had reflexology done mm -hmm. and it gave you some relief? Yes, I could work much better. Meaning the numbness is gone or the sciatica was gone? Well, I could function a lot better. I Fair enough, work. fair enough, okay. So you still had symptoms, but you were functional? Yes, Got correct. It. Okay, and from there the numbness started after seeing the second treatment? The numbness started when again? 
way back when I had sciatic. So they were happening at the same time? Yes. I just want to be clear. Mm -hmm. You started with sciatica on the right side. Mm -hmm. Then uh, you were getting adjustments and switched to the left side. Correct. Right. But the right was clear? Correct. Okay. Then on the left side, you started getting, uh, you started to get the sciatica, and then along with the left sciatica, you got numbness. Yes, and I had some numbness on this leg, but it switched over to this leg. Same spot? Yes, same space. part, same yes. area? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's interesting, okay? It switched sides, just like we talked previously, right? It switched sides. Now the nerve, the, the dermatome pattern you're presenting is in the sacrum, S1, S2 even is what you're presenting with. Uh, we're gonna go, when we get to your x-rays, we'll, we'll kind of put the pieces together. Uh, and that's, but this is the number one reason you're here. Yes. Okay, what else is going on besides the numbness? Anything else? Um, I got hit by a tree in October. Okay. And it <coughs> twisted my knee, but it's back to almost normal now. Okay. The right knee. That's the opposite right. side. Opposite side. Okay. Any other issues? Not really. Okay. So that's what we're going to focus on. Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay. So if, is there anything else you want to add? Uh, over the years, I used to get some tight shoulders. Okay. And that has seemed to get less and less. Okay. Um, all right. And anything else? Well, that's about it. All right. So what we're going to do, I'm going to watch you walk. Okay. okay, then we're going to do your exam, go over your x-rays, figure out where we're going to start. And let's see the dimples. So you are the first couple people that I have seen from the Amish community. And I was a little surprised. I was sharing, started to share, because I asked how you heard about me. Keep walking, please. Ah. <sighs> And just normal, do you not swing your arms? Do you keep your arms on the side? Walk how you normally walk, sir. Ma'am, is this how she, he walks? Can you please tell him something? Walk like you do. Just walk your normal walk. Normal is walk. It? You go like this sometimes. Oh, really? <laughs> just move your arms. Like this? However you just move your arms. walk this, normally. Walk yeah, like you this do. This is how I walk. There you go. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> All right. Here you go. There you go. We got a little tinkle in the SI joint. We don't got the full wiggle, but we got a little tinkle. We got a little tinkle on that left side. I have pain a little bit, a little stiffness. On the right side. Yes. Okay. Now, go ahead and keep marching, keep walking. Go ahead to the poster that says the nervous system and touch it, please. Good. Now come back over here. So he's walking a lot on the back outsides of the heels as well. Okay? Yeah. And when he's walking, the left swings a little bit. It's very subtle. Okay, but he's on definitely on the out the back outsides of your heels when you walk. Keep going, please. Stop there actually. Stop there. Face me. March in place. Yeah, I do that. Step back, step back to right there. Okay. March in place. This. Yep, but knees in front of you. March in place. Don't march towards me. March in place. Okay. It's difficult. Good. Close your eyes and keep marching. Okay. See that back right? Yeah. It keeps tilting on that back right. Okay, open your eyes, turn around, keep walking, please. So there's a couple of things going on in that low back. The, the left seems to swing a little bit, that left leg. We've got a little bit of a tinkle on that left side, but I do see what you're turning around. I do see what you're talking about here. There's a little bit of fixation here. And when we get to the films, we'll talk more about what's going on here. But I'd like to see the dimples a little bit better. And if we just follow the, the contour, okay? He's not really symmetrical. We wanna help him get symmetrical. Look at that crease there versus that crease there. We'd like you to have some more symmetry and balance in your life, okay, sir? Keep walking, please. Okay. Keep 
Chico. All right, let's come back over onto the table here and have a seat. Let's go ahead and run the meter on his back. We'll start at the base of the neck. Okay. And let's see what we find. And the first thing we find is a 15 pointer down around C3, C4. As we go down from the base, we get to right about. Now, there's a blemish here. Yeah? What's this? Tell them about it. What's that? Uh, I had a pimple size. Uh, either a growth or something there that I use black salve to pull. Okay. And that's why it's a spot. We have a good 15 pointer on T9. T9, possibly T10. And now let's check what's going on in the low back. Now, you were getting your L5 worked on all this time, correct? Correct. Yeah. I'm getting it down low, 10 points around S2, S3. I'm getting it down low here. I'm getting it around T9, T10, and I'm getting around third, fourth cervical. Okay, sir? Scoot forward. Let's check the movement in your pelvis, please. Feet together. Open and close. Your knees. Open and close. Yes, sir. Open and close. Right side only. Open and close the right side only. Left side only. They're not so bad. They're moving. Does something feel restricted to you? Not really. Not really. I mean, it's very subtle. There's. It feels like more tissue pulls that are happening. Right side only. Yeah, this is not starting in the pelvis major. This is L5. This is S1. That's S2. And that's S3. Oh, boy. This is S3. Look down low in the basement. Mm -hmm. Down low in the basement, sir. Now let's check the static palpation along the spine. As we get to right about there, you can start to see the swelling and pooling of the skin. Even when I go over this part, it's not the same as here, man. Check it out, right there. So right when we get to about there, it pulls in, it sucks in right around there. Right there, head down please. Head down, please. Round your back. Seven. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh boy. Nine. Ten. Right there. Ten. Ten. S3. Let's check the neck. Now. Seven. Six. Five. Two, three, oh four, three. Three, four, five keeps the diaphragm alive. Right there. Oh boy. C3. C3, T10. And S3. All right. This is a picture in time. This is the full spine comparative uh, x ray. This is looking at you from behind. This is right. This is the left side. This is your side profile. As you can see, I want you to kind of just notice the lack of curvature here, and we're going to talk about it and explain all that. Now, let's go over this. We found on you third cervical, 10th thoracic, and S3. Yes? You told me you had fifth lumbar worked on all this time. Mm -hmm. Fifth lumbar 
is what we classify that as a D4 disc. Has been there at least 30 years. We, you know, we're talking just looking at the shape of it, and it's kind of consistent with what you present with. However, if we look at four, three, two, one, these are all pretty good. So why is that one like that? That's the big question, right? Now, upon examination, we found down here, okay, S1, S2. <clears throat> S1 is also a little bit swollen. Comparing the old x-rays that you brought in the past few years to this, there wasn't really a change in your L5, okay? We're going to be starting down here. We're going to give you a couple of adjustments. We're going to kind of see what happens with that. Mm -hmm. You're presenting with the sacrum nerve distribution, S, we said actually S1, S2. Bottom is going to be more S3, S4 along here, right? But we're going with what we find. Okay. Okay. Let's look at your foundation. And when we're looking at the foundation, we know first what? This is a 24-story building or like a 24-story building. Seven bones in the neck called cervicals, 12 in the mid-back called thoracics, five in the low-back called lumbars. This is the foundation of the building, which is the sacrum and the pelvis. What do we see here? So I, I labeled, based on the analysis, PI4EX5. It means the left pelvis goes down and out. So your pelvis actually favors to the right, but your spine wants to go to the left. So there's a disconnect there. We know that was from some sort of trauma. We already know all that. Now, I measured a MD, measured difference in leg length inequality of five millimeters. But on the x-ray you brought me, it wasn't there, was it? No. No. So, and the same thing happened in terms of the pelvis. The listings were not, weren't consistent. Now, here's what we need to talk about, and this is what is specific to your case. If there was a, if we work on your pelvis, if we worked on this PIEX, it's gonna make the actual difference worse. If I bring, if this side is down and I bring it up, it's gonna bring the right side down, it's gonna make more of a leg length inequality. If I was to find the right side, and this way, if this is PIEX, this is ASIN. <clears throat> If I was to correct a right pelvis in this scenario, what would it do? It would still bring it down. Mm -hmm. So that's telling me we're not really going in the pelvis as the answer to what's causing. It may come up down the road. What we're finding is S2. We're finding that from this is an old injury, old tailbone fall, no problem. That's where we're gonna start down in the sacrum. Now, as we go up the spine, we said also we found at T10. We found T10, we found also C3. I did also circle your T2. And what I talked about your T2 is this is a side slip. T2, even a little bit of T3. And the vertebrae have slipped sideways laterally compared to the rest of the bones. Why that's important, if we don't, there's a special way to correct that lateral shift. It's a little spicy when we adjust it. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. A little spicy, but it's okay. All right? Now, we'll go over these in a minute. I want to talk about this x-ray next. On your lateral film, here's what we want to see. This is L5. This is how you present. You can kind of see your whole upper body sits behind your foundation. Mm -hmm. So there's stress on the muscles and ligaments. There's no balance. You understand? You get what I'm saying? Is that why my shoulders got tight? Possibly. Okay. Just things are out of balance, so your muscles are not working with forces of gravity. It's working against, mm -hmm. right? What do I mean by that? Let's put the laser level, and this is a simple way. When we do the laser level, this is like doing a plumb line, okay? And when we're doing this, the plumb line, it should bisect, right? When we're doing a plumb line, and there are a lot of... Uh, apparatuses out there and, and people that do them in spinal screenings and they're basically just running a, 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 a string down the side. The ear should line up with the shoulder, the hip, the knee and the ankle, right? When you're doing a plumb line. On the x-ray, I learned it this way and I like it a little bit. It's a little bit more, um, it's a little easier to see, okay? Now, we take the lowest lumbar vertebrae, we bisect it and we run the laser level and watch my finger. Mm -hmm. You see the red line? Oh yeah. 
but look where it is. It's supposed to be where C2 should be up here. C2 is representing your ear. So this, you should have a curve like this, like this, and like this. So I'm leaning too far back. You're leaning back. You're like this, okay? And so what are the muscles and what's your body trying to do? It's trying to hold you up. Right, it gives tension then. Correct, so things work off balance, right? So the idea with you is we need to figure out this foundation. Um, in terms of five, I don't really see the five right now, okay? I don't see it as, a, as an issue at the moment. Okay. Yes, it's thinner than the rest of them. The question is, was it the trauma? Yes, sure. But why is this one wearing out but the others aren't? That's the question, and that's what we need to figure out. So the first thing is we're gonna work on sacrum, we're gonna bring it down and around, kind of open up that space. This is the nerve, whether it's here, here, or here. This, the sciatic nerve is formed by all of these nerves from the low back and the sacrum to form the sciatic nerve. However, something just came. I've had over 50 cases of sciatica that came from a third cervical. I've had cases where bilateral sciatica, not just me, other gonsodoc, sciatica coming from the neck. I was a patient like that as well, so I know, okay? I've had headaches coming from the pelvis, as other docs have. So what's gonna be interesting with you, I'm probably gonna start here, okay? You get what I'm saying? So that's, you're saying that's where the sciatic could have maybe started. Could. I was that case. Okay. So I had sciatica is now about seven, I talked about it in a video, sorry, seven, eight years ago. I was bedridden and everyone was trying to figure me out, L4, L5, sacrum, right pelvis, left pelvis. Took a new film, went to one of my mentors, looked at the x-ray, saw it, heard my history, did my third cervical for one week. He says, you go back to LA, continue. Once that holds and is clear, then you get to the low back. Hmm. I gotta tell you something interesting. Sure. Uh, I had sciatic so bad that I came downstairs and wanted my wife to help me sit on the chair. So I go turn the light off. Don't you think I missed the whole chair? It fell right on my body. Interesting. And this was when? That would have been what? Two, two, 2015. Okay. So there's some stuff. Now, the question is, is it that, is it that? We're gonna figure it out. And we're gonna figure it out by balancing the spine first. Okay? I'm gonna do your third cervical and I'm gonna do your sacrum to start. Okay. Then I'm gonna rescope you and see if I need to do that T10 today or not. All right. Okay? Okay. Fair enough. Good. I have a seat over here. I thought you wanted to share something with us. And I said you were, you're the first uh, couple or first people that have come from the Amish community and I was a little surprised I want to share you know mm -hmm. I was a little surprised because my understanding was there was no electronics um, no cars no the technology wasn't really uh, encouraged mm -hmm. is that correct that's correct but what how did you get here I'm trying to you know how did you find me on YouTube okay it's true that we do live in an Amish community okay but there's a lot of different sects of Amish and Mennonites, and we are what we call Amish Mennonite. Okay. We do have electronics, which I'm grateful for because we would have never found Dr. Raheem cool. if we didn't have that. I appreciate that. This is interesting. And uh, this, the Mennonite, the Amish Mennonites started to use technology just because that's the Time, the times were changing. Why? Correct. Why? Uh, we're in the business world. Okay. And we're forced into using it. Okay. Forced in a good, forced in a good way, though. In a good way. Okay. But yeah. there's still a lot of communities that don't. Correct. And that's okay. Uh, more and more, the Amish are starting to use the electronics. Now, let me add, this is just a random question. Yeah. So let's say there's a, a family that doesn't use it. Can they, like do business through you and you're using technology? Yes. For illustration, we have a, uh, a phone, we call them phone shacks for our Amish neighbors. Okay. okay. And they come over and use our phone. Okay, but they don't have 
a phone specifically. No. Got it. Okay. This is interesting. But, okay. You ready for this third cervical, sir? Yes, I am. All right. Let's do this. Now, for you, we got to use a seat belt, okay? Okay. And hand down. Okay. And third cervical. Third cervical, PRI lamina, but you've got to give it to me, sir. Feet out, resting on your heels. There we go. Good. Palms up, resting on your thighs. Good. You're a little tight for me, a little resistant. No problem. Left ear down. Down. Is that all I'm going to get? Left ear down. No, you ain't giving it that way. He's going to make me work. There you go. Ah! <laughs> That's a home run. Walk it out. That makes me sweat. I have to do an opposite <laughs> spin on that. Okay. Walk it off once, please. Take a nice deep breath in. Is that why I always could feel lump right in there? Um, in terms of scar tissue in there, there's scar. There was scar tissue. I mean, it's pretty stiff in there. Yes. So the PRI, I took it from the opposite side just to get that movement in. Now, sir. All right, so you get to repay the favor. You get to hold, you get to hold his ankles right there, right there. Like this? Yes, right there. Lightly, just on top like this. Like this? Yep, just like that. And deep breathing, sir. Deep breathing. Exhale. Palms up here, chin up, and deep breathing, and as you're breathing, I'm just prepping the joint. Oh yeah, deep breath in, good, deep breath in. Was he behaving today? He was pretty, pretty tame today, yesterday he was right, okay. trying to get Everything done for the Relax your right shoulder, sir. And oh. that's a home run. Oh. Bam! Oh. Ah. Oh. Senor! That hurt. Come out. I had to go for it. Walk it off, please. Several times. Look at his sacrum, though the swelling's already gone. Watch when he turns around. Check that out. It's pretty cool. <sighs> Keep on walking you normally walk. Um, can you tell me what's different that you see right now? Anything? I never had anyone push like that. It's what do you mean? No chiropractor ever pushed that like that. And I could feel it move. You felt it move? Oh yeah. I mean you heard it move too. Yeah. That was S2, S3. That was the down low in the sacrum. I actually think the numbness is uh, less. Uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow, okay? Okay. Uh, you have a little bit of homework. But let's see how that T10 is doing. Have a seat. All right, so starting at the base, neck is now clear. Third cervical is clear. We got some flutters from the blemish. Guess what, sir? What? T10 is clear. Pretty cool. Sit up straight. Back slowly towards me. L5. L5. Oh, look, it's moving now, L5 even. And we I didn't felt that. And we didn't even touch L5. <laughs> look at that, the scar tissue just busted itself. Pretty cool, huh? It is. Five. One, S2, S3, all the way back. Have you seen The Matrix? It's one of my favorite movies. If you're ever watching, check it out. It's an older movie, Keanu Reeves. I don't know if you've heard of. What do you think, sir? He's, he's saying, I wish it would have to get to California. <laughs> he said what? 
piece of that. I wish I wouldn't have to go to California. He was so busy. I get it. <laughs> Pain is a good motivator, right? Shoulder. Oi. Over. Around. There you go. On your back, please. She gets some brownie points, doesn't she? Yeah. <laughs> she got brownie points. She dragged you all the way to Cali. Which was a good thing. Absolutely. We're going to do the ankles, okay? This one, you feel them. Yeah. Yes. There you go, sir. Stand up, please, for me. Walk it off a couple more times. Tell me what's different in the walk and to anything you're feeling or... It flows a lot easier. Got it. Is it a little different? I'm not saying nothing. I'm just, you know... I'm just asking you. Yeah. Okay, he's walking smoother. He's not stomping his foot. Yeah. Now, here's another cool test for you, sir. Can you sit on the floor against the door, please? Can you just sit on the floor the there? Okay, just sit down. Just sit against the wall. And the test is not really the sitting. It's now stand up. should be easier to stand up. That's the test. There you go. Yeah. It don't hurt in here. Cool. A little bit, but not much. Squeeze. Relax there, we're gonna do the elbow. Relax there, relax. Distal radius, thumb trapezium, squeeze. Radial head, distal radius. Come on, let it go. Okay, I'm not good at that. No. I get it. Come on, dude, okay. let it go. There. There you go. Squeeze. Good. Firm grip. I'm looking for the firmness. I'm looking that everything is seating properly, not that one is stronger than the other. Mm -hmm. Squeeze. Solid. Good. Welcome to the office. Thank, Thank you. you. You're very welcome.